Hello, this is Warlord. We're going to go through the steps of putting a Daz Genesis character into 3D Exchange and iClone, and we're going to do it from start to finish. So let's get started. Okay, we're in Daz Studio 4.5 Pro. From there, uh, just in case you're not familiar with Daz Studio, uh, we're just going to go into Files, Figures, and I'm just going to click the Basic Mail. Now from there, there's several ways to do this. I'm just going through products, clicking on bad guy for Genesis because this is a particular character I'm going to use. You can use any Genesis character. We go ahead and get our character ready by loading whatever clothing and accessories they're going to use. I'd say that's pretty good right now. Now the next step involves using a file that Realusion uh, has provided for us. And this file contains uh, all of the visimes and, and keys that are needed to drive interaction in the facial features. So what we do is we grab this file and just drag it over and load it on. I generally load it on to the head of the character. And this is just telling you it needs to add more frames, which you let it do. And then once you go in, you will notice that we now have these key frames added to the timeline, which is up to 1,710 frames. And what that is, is different expressions. And there is a particular way of doing this. You should have a reference document provided by Realusion that shows you like frame one is brow raise in her left. Frame two is brows raise in her right. This is just to show you that there is a specific way to do this. But they've done this for you as far as Genesis goes. So we'll just go ahead and get this out of the way. And we're ready now to go ahead and export. So let's go to file export put this in a little cleaner folder so you can see what's going on and we'll just call this bad guy one now I go ahead and merge clothing because that way it moves with the character it doesn't seem to work right if I don't merge clothing but I haven't tested that a whole lot and we certainly want to make sure animations is checked and we want to make sure morphs is checked. You want to basically be set up just like this is here. And you're only going to need one export rule. And that is the final export anything bake action. So delete any other rules that are in there. And now we're ready to go ahead. With it set up as we have now. We're ready to go ahead and accept it. And what it's doing now is it's exporting all those morphs. And now it's going down the timeline. And exporting the animations and everything that was in that file that we drug on top of the character. As you can see, it's going through the entire timeline, getting each keyframe. Okay, we are now finished with exporting the Daz Genesis character as just a general export goes. Now we're ready to go ahead and bring up 3D Exchange. And let's open up Bad Guy 1, the FBX, that we just exported. Yes, we want to import the animation. And we'll let it do its work. Now it is already auto detected that it is a Daz Genesis. It wants to rig it for you. So yes, let it rig it for you. And it's telling you now that it's ready. Uh, just hit OK. And it's also telling you that it exceeds the 30,000 face count. Now if you will notice over here, when we click each of these, the mouth is moving. Those are the morphs that came in from Studio. And it's already already converted, it's already set up, converted, face bones are mapped, everything is already done that, that is needed to be done as far as being able to use this character and things. So it's already been converted. Now we can go into the expression editor and we can take a look and they've already taken care of this for us as well. We went off to the side a little bit here. You can see how he moves up, down, things like that. 
The eyes have been set to move. Now you can turn the bone off to see these things. Jaw set, left, right. The visimies are set. Now if you'll notice you have an ability to blend over here. And that's something we'll get into in a different tutorial. Uh, any of these can be set to different things that are affecting the mouth and the facial features as it goes. So we can set up some things other than what we have here. But that'll be for another tutorial. Uh, here are the brow muscles. And then we can come in and set up something custom here if we wanted to. This would be the mouse moving upwards. So let's say this is that blending I was talking about. We'll just do some basic right now. We'll just move some few things. And now we'll set that. So that whenever I move the mouse upward, it will actually turn his face into this expression. Now we'll really look at that once we get into iClone. But you can do this. You can click on rightward and start doing the same thing. We'll see what kind of strange expression we can come up with here. Remember to always click the set button. And you're pretty much done here with this. And now we're ready to go ahead and apply to iClone. So we'll click apply to iClone and wait for it to come in. Okay, now here's your fully functional character. In order to test it, you can go ahead and load it up with facial animation. And we'll just use a test clip here. This is Bob Willis. You can see right there that the face is moving. The lips are animating. Go to motion. Open up the motion puppet. Natural. We'll just take a preview. This is Bob Willis with your wacko news. So far, so good. The secret is finally out. A woman who was raped cannot. Now, in this particular case, there's a little bit of droop in the shoulders. We probably should have taken that out in 3D Exchange. But we can go ahead and grab one of the shoulders with the mirror checkbox and just move it up just a little. And you might even possibly want to roll it out just enough to move it. Of course, that's personal preference. That just depends on how you want to do it. So from here, let's go ahead and take a look at our custom animation. We can come down here to the puppet, and we can go to any one of these, and it'll work. You can see him moving around. I'll go ahead and get us a little closer here. And these will work, but also our custom motion will work that we put in there. So we'll come in here to custom motion, preview it, and you'll notice when I go up and over, those custom motions I set, those morphs, are now working. So you do have control over your custom motions this way. And then of course there's also the face key. So in just a short time, we've got a Daz Genesis character ready. And actually, Real Illusion has done all the work for us. Mm -hmm.